What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to Northern Michigan Biker. Today, we're going to be diving into the world of motorcycle helmets with the Shoei Neotech 2, known for its safety, comfort, and innovation. Let's see if this bad dog lives up to the hype. Nobody cares about unboxing, right? So I got her out of the box. Um, full disclosure, I already had this thing on my head last night. I was walking around like I was Darth Vader, annoying the ever-living daylights out of my wife, which is uh, kind of like my national pastime. But um, yeah, this thing is, is, is a really nice helmet. So I got this out of uh, Fox Power Sports in Grand Rapids, Michigan. Um, if you're down there, go check them out. They have, uh, they're an Indian dealer, Yamaha, Honda, Triumph, Can-Am, and a bunch of other stuff. They have they have all sorts of things on there, but um, they have an excellent selection of helmets um, from both off-road to, to on-road, stuff like this. So um, I went with the uh, Neotech 2 because it is a modular design. So let's get into the construction of, and, and design and construction of this helmet. So this uh, helmet meets DOT and I think it's ECE certifications um, with the Shoei Multiply uh, Matrix AIM um, shell construction, which uh, provides excellent absorption and impact rating uh, while still being lightweight. So while we're talking about being lightweight, if you're looking for a super lightweight helmet with the full face, go with a, your traditional full face style. Um, adding on the uh, modular system here adds a little bit of weight. Um, this helmet comes in just under five pounds, which compared to my other helmet um, is still way lighter. So I'm very impressed with that so far. Inside your box here, which is uh, packaged up really nice, you get your, your typical cover. This cover is actually one of the nicest covers I've seen. Um, has a little bit of a, almost like a felt inside with a, I don't even know what you call it, like a real silky outside here. So this thing is one of the nicer covers I've, I've seen. Inside here, you also get uh, some cleaning supply, a part, don't know yet. I haven't really fully read the directions, but um, these are pretty handy. You get a bag of stickers, which is sweet. And then, um, oh, the um, pin lock Evo system, which is awesome on this as well. That um, helps prevent uh, moisture and fog build up inside your helmet to a degree. So if you're in Florida, just got done raining, you're going to have a little bit of a uh, little bit of fog on the inside of your helmet. They can't really help that, but for normal situations, those do help out quite a bit. A couple of things I noticed right away with this helmet um, was it's just the build quality of it. Um, this button here comes up. It stays in place pretty well. It doesn't move around at all. Um, the inside of the, of the helmet itself is nice padding here. These pop out. They're like little buttons. Let's see if I can get that in there. But you got these little guys all the way around there. Click them, snap them into place. This entire system here can come out, be washed or replaced. You have uh, spots here for your your um, your Cena system if you put that in, or Cardo. But this is built specifically for the one of the Cena systems right here. These pop out or this side with your battery pack here in the back, um, which is really nice. Um, putting this down, your visor here comes up and there's positions that clearly click in boom 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 all the way down my old helmet when i got down to here it would either flop up in the wind or shut down this ain't going to do that i don't believe anyways i've been on the bike yet it's 35 degrees here in northern michigan at this moment you also got some significant um ventilation here so up top pull that back air goes through exhaust out the back end like I just said, I haven't been able to ride with this yet, but I did put this on my head, took my battery powered uh, leaf blower, and you can feel the circulation on, on both the, the forehead and the mouth here. Um, way better than my other helmet. So I love this thing so far. Um, as for the one little bit of pain in the ass, for me anyways, guy with big hands, I, I do wish that should we would do something about this guy here. I've read a lot of things online about it as well. Um, this could be about an inch longer just to get 
fat pickle fingers like mine in there to get in. But um, this ratchet system, not 100% sold on it yet. This is my first helmet with this on here. I've read some reviews, both good and bad, about it. So that's to be determined yet. But we'll see. We'll see. Now, one of my favorite features on this helmet, which I've spoken about briefly, is this shield system. It's far superior from any other helmet I've I have, especially with this pin lock system in here. I have yet to install it yet because I am considering switching this out to a mirrored or a tinted um, visor, which you can do. All the stuff is for, you can get this off of a uh, showy North America if you're here in the States and you can get all different types of color, even monochromatic, which um, it's kind of like glasses, transition lenses. If you're out in the sun, this turns black or whatever at night, it's clear. So those are, that's pretty nice. That's probably what I ended up doing with this and then putting this on, but these can come in and out. So with that, you can see these pins here and this piece here, take it out. It's nice pre-packaged. This guy, well, Fits in there like that. Those go onto those pins, lock in, and that's supposed to magically somehow take care of a lot of the moisture issues. I'm sure it's going to take care of all the mo moisture issues I had up here being in northern Michigan. Now let's get down to what everybody really wants to know. I did touch on it briefly. Um, is the price? So this I paid. It was retailing at $7.99. Um, I got a big dumb head, so. I end up paying uh, $5.75 for this thing. It was like 25% off. The uh, Neotech 3s are out. Um, Brand Rapids did not have them yet, but I do believe that's probably why these are going on sale. They're on sale everywhere, going from that price down to about $5.75 to uh, $5 or $6.25 is what I've seen. All right, so to wrap this up, um, I'm really impressed with this helmet. Again, I haven't taken it out on a ride yet, but with its design, its safety features, its uh, comfort level, it's far superior than any other helmet I've ever put on my head. Um, this is my first showy that I've ever put on my head, but I've, I've looked into other brands, other high-end brands as well, and I came to the conclusion that, that showy was, was going to be the one I got. Um, it was just a matter of if I got the Neotech or the Air 2. Um, but I, I do like having a modular setup. Um, it just, for me, it works out best, especially having a, a bigger dome like I do have. And I do ride with my, uh, with uh, glasses, usually sunglasses on the inside. Being able to uh, put this on, put my specs on, shutting the door and going down the road is uh, useful for me. Also during rides, um, not everybody has a communication system. Um, I didn't purchase one. Um, they had a, a good deal going on the Cena as well, but I didn't know much about the Cena or the Cardo. So I wanted to kind of research before I went and made that kind of investment um, into that. But uh, I think this will work out pretty good for me. So I'm pretty happy with it. I'm hoping that uh, to get on the road here very soon and test it out. But I do have a small problem with my bike and I'll, I'll show you guys that. Now I realize this might be a little bit hard to see, but I got me a big old gouge out of my front tire. Um, kind of sucks. These are relatively new. I got about 10,000 miles on these Dunlop American Elites. I put on last spring. In no way is this Dunlop's problem. This is 100% a me problem. I ran over something and uh, got a little bit of damage on my rear tire as well. But have no fear. She will be replaced. Luckily, we got more snow coming and I got a little bit of time. So. I'm hoping to head down to uh, Flint here, February 25th, to a swap meet. Maybe I'll get some deals down there. If not, going to my buddies at Dennis Kirk, have me two new tires. So, not a big problem. So, that's going to wrap up today's video. Um, short and sweet. I'm not big on this kind of stuff. But I do appreciate you guys uh, tuning in and uh, watching the videos, liking, sharing, all the stuff that's been going on. It's been a, a really cool six weeks since I've been doing this. Um, I'm learning quite a bit. I feel I'm getting a little bit better. We'll see. But um, either way, I'm having fun doing it. So make sure to like, subscribe, all that stuff, and uh, we'll see you next time. Have a great weekend. We'll see you.